if you can't do you know if you can't do you know you say if I go go I go like go hang around say go to Charlie I go cut some her shoes yes Yeah, so sub guys, um, the Cadillac we are seeing right here is a 6.2 liter V8 engine, and all the seats have the meticulous leather detailing. Talking about Cadillac, the leather they use is one of the best leather in the world, and every Cadillac is made or designed and handcrafted with thoughtful details and sophisticated and authentic materials. Yeah. And specifically, if I want to say the leather they use, they use the Opus leather, O-P-U-S, the Opus leather. It's, it's the highest quality leather source for Cadillac and has a limited finishing and light embossed grain to help maintain a soft feel. So actually, this is what makes luxury so comfortable and nice. Having yourself seated in a soft feel seat. Wow, let's get going. On these control buttons, it's basically located at the left side of the driver's seat, where the driver is able to control the locking of the doors, volume, and changing other stuff in the vehicle compartment. Yes, this is basically made for the driver's seat. And the person that will be sitting in the that driver's seat. Yeah. You can see beautifully a blue light passing through the door. And this light is called the ambient light. Please take note of that. Yeah. have buttons also there and coming to the dashboard coming to the dashboard I would like to show the view very well yes so this actually is the augmented reality and in short terms we can name it by using the abbreviation AR the AR projects the live street view in front of the vehicle onto the cluster display so the cluster display is what we are seeing this view through the cluster display is actually in front of the long OLED display right behind it and talking about the steering wheel we can see the emblem of the Cadillac sitting right in the middle of the steering wheel with other buttons at the left and right side of it yes so coming back to this OLED display we can see behind the cluster display a curved OLED and guess what the length of this curved OLED is 38 inches long damn I, I was um, watching GLE 63 as and their dashboard was having I think they, they are doubled one is 12.3 inches and the other is also 12.3 inches all making 24.6 inches so guess what Cadillac is much longer than the one in GLE 63X which is the Benz okay nice seats coming here we can see there are speakers there are speakers in the driver's seat and these speakers here are only located in the front seat, which is the driver's seat, and then the passenger seat just either sent to the driver's seat. Yeah, and it, it enhances conversation. Coming back to the dashboard, we can also activate the Super Cruise and 
guess what? The super cruise, you are able to leave the steering wheel only when you get it activated. That's one thing you have to know. You have to make sure you activate the super cruise mode before you can get it. And also make sure your eyes are being recognized. In the interior, we can see beautifully the ambient lights all over the compartment and how I wish this this would have been the night mode where you see the lights very clearly. So over here we can see the gauge view and the gauge view we can see the rpm right in the middle and then on the left side of the speedometer displays the date time tire pressure and other information on the brake pad width and also talking about the right side it shows the navigation the radio information and even the calls you make it shows every information over there And one beautiful thing about uh, other features is that we have the HUD, which is the head up display. And the head up display is a system on the dashboard that displays information on the windscreen to keep the driver focused on the road ahead of him or her. So it gives you information, every information you need, so that you would not be bending down your head to the screen and other stuff. You will be focused on the road and stuff. And over here, you can select the music you want to, you want to listen to, everything. The part. Coming to the camera side, we have the, the normal, the side, the overhead, and then the wide. So you can determine the angle at which you want to view the vehicle around it and also guess what you can choose any angle at all you want to view the vehicle with comparing uh, this Escalade 600 to the latest version you will see that on the steering wheel there is infrared flashlight and what I need you to notice is that it is not visible in person. Please take note of that. Coming to the gear lever also. These keys can be pressed downwards and also be pushed upwards. And we call it the piano keys and yeah. And then coming to the gear lever, Coming to the gear lever, we, we can see that moving it forward and moving it backwards gives you the chance to select whatever you need to select. So we have the reverse, the neutral, the park, the drive, and other options on it. And also, we have the wireless charging port where you can just put in your phone and it will charge it wirelessly. You can also do same for this one also you can either push it downwards or move it upwards to select whatever you want the sunroof we can see the sunroof as well here
the red light at the rear of the vehicle is the, the three foot tail light yeah that's a three foot tail light we can see the control buttons at the rear side here and they are used to control the movements of the seats in the vehicle compartment so in case you are putting something in the boot and then it's not able to go you can adjust the seats and then make more room for the item you are bringing in into the vehicle Hey. Hey. I am not your typical, way typical You gotta watch your energy, cause we were real reciprocals Diamonds so clear, sure they thought they was invisible Pull the proof to vibe, butterflies, when the money come to mind Money, money, make me come